friend. Oh, new friend. Friend. Please be my friend. Oh, new friend. Hello, CSC Nation. I am Luke, and you are watching Cheap Shot Entertainment. And this is episode two of your rundown of the May Young Classic for 2018. Last week's show was absolutely awesome. We've got more awesome matches coming your way on this week's show. If you don't have the network, go and get yourself a free subscription. You'll also get Hell in a Cell, which is happening this Sunday, and we'll be doing a preview of that and a review of that show, as well as continuing with the May Young Classic. So if you're wanting to know what the May Young Classic is, it is a tournament for women wrestlers. And it is spearheading the evolution of women's wrestling, leading to Evolution, which is an all-women's pay-per-view. There's also some all-women's wrestling right here in the UK on Hope Foxes. Which can, the next one's going to be in October, and we'll run through the dates and times with you at the end of the video. So the first match of the night pits to one from Mexico, Zutis, I think that's how I, how you say her name, I don't know. She's going against Ariel Monroe from the USA. Now, uh, traditionally the USA obviously wins a lot of these things, but this one was so, so slightly different. Uh, Zutis tried a drop kick early on in the match, missed. Ariel Monroe took the early lead on this one. Um, but as we go through, Monroe was more concerned about her hairstyle um, than actually beating Zeus's. And that is a criminal mistake because this lady from Mexico is uh, revered down in Mexico and she has won pretty much every title there is to win in Mexico. So she is going for this uh, championship, she's going for the title of May Young Classic winner of 2018 and she is serious about it. So serious in fact that um, she pretty much runs this match all the way through. Um, Ariel Monroe gets some uh, offence in as we go through. She's got her husband who is Cedric Alexander at ringside along with her daughter watching this. The crowd is obviously behind her because she's from the USA. Um, but yeah, um, Ariel Monroe gets a few moves in, she looks decent, I'm guessing that she'll probably get assigned to NXT anyway, so um, yeah, uh, good match to open the show, not quite as strong as last week's showing to open the whole thing, which you'd expect, because you'd expect the really good matches to start and get people in to watch the rest of them, however it was a really good match and the finish was a top rope Spanish fly um, which is an incredible move. Um, you line them up, you get on the top rope, you jump and basically do a moonsault and land in the middle of the ring. Uh, Zeus gets this move on Ariel Monroe and picks up the victory. One, two, three, she is your winner uh, via pin four and moves on to the second round. Like I said, not quite as strong an opening as it was last week, but still a very, very good match and very worth watching. So match two of the show for the first round second show, I don't even know how to label these things, it was uh, two ladies from the USA, it was USA versus USA, it was Rina Gonzalez versus Ka Casey Can Catanzaro, uh, Catanz Catanzaro, um, yeah both the, uh, you got um, quite a lady who's quite small in stature uh, versus one that's again about six foot tall and built like a shed basically. Um, we had a similar match on last week's show as well. This one again doesn't quite live up to the levels that that match set but it is still a good show and it still shows and uh, still tells a good story throughout the match. Um, Gonzalez shows her strength throughout this match, completely in control for the first two or three minutes and Casey does not get any offence in, she doesn't get a look in at all for the first couple of minutes. Um, Gonzalez starts to get frustrated, she can't put Casey away and this is where things go wrong for Gonzalez as Casey hits a springboard missile drop kick off the ropes uh, to knock 
Gonzalez down for the first time. She couldn't get her down before, um, which is quite impressive on uh, Gonzalez. Um, and um, basically hits a sent on and rolls for the pin. Um, Casey wins after a dominant performance from Rini Gonzalez. Um, and yeah, it's a good news story. Basically, people want to see the underdog win, and that's what it did. It told, like I say, it told a good story. It's not the greatest match for the night, and it's not the greatest match of the Mae Young Classic so far. But I'm looking forward to seeing where Casey goes with this one because um, she's quite impressive, and with someone of her own stature, she may pull out some different moves. So I'm looking forward to seeing where that goes. Uh, Casey's your winner. Uh, one, two, three buy a pin and there you go your winner so on to the next match which was actually the first match on the card I completely misread my notes here and completely missed out a match um, and it was Diana Perazzo versus Priscilla Kelly um, again good grappling to start with the match and you know you don't expect that from the ladies but you know we're, we're looking at women wrestlers now rather than women performers in the ring and they show as much as the guys do in this one. So uh, Perazzo gets the first near fall quite early on in the match. Again, a feeling out process to start with. Your first, the first match of the night is always um, something that you can't. You know, you're going on first. You've got to set the precedent. So, and these these girls did. To be fair, there was dragon sleepers. There was big boots um, by uh, K Priscilla Kelly. Um, quite an impressive. Uh, again. An impressive uh, wrestler. Both these guys, uh, girls rather, not guys, they're girls. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's some submission wrestling here as well. Uh, got Priscilla Kelly gets a um, dragon sleeper on Perazzo at one point. Another springboard drop kick by Perazzo, who is definitely the high flyer in this match, whereas Priscilla Kelly likes to keep it on the mat. Um, and We've got a side Russian leg sweep to finish into a Fujiwara armbar, which again is quite impressive. Um, seamless transition from the Russian leg sweep to the armbar, the Fujiwara armbar. Pulls back with some tremendous torque on the left arm of Priscilla Kelly and eventually she does have to tap. So we have our first submission of the Mae Young Classic, I believe. Um, if my notes are correct and we have the first submission of the Mae Young Classic so we have our submission wrestler moving on to the second round which will take place in a couple of weeks time we've still got another two shows of first round matches to, to uh, finish and then it goes on to the second round with the final being at the Evolution pay-per-view uh, I think that's going to be at the end of September, I believe, but I could be wrong on that. Again, I will check the dates on these things and make sure you know what is happening in the world of professional wrestling. So your winner is Diana Perazzo from the USA, moving on to the second round. So the final match of the evening was Mercedes Martinez from the USA versus Ashley Rain, who was a former Impact Knockout Champion, or TNA Knockout Champion, <clears throat> as it were. Um, she was called Madison Rain at the time. She is now Ashley Rain, as is uh, on WWE, and just changing their name and repackaging them a little bit. Um, Mercedes Martinez was in the Mayor Classic 2017 got taken out by Shayna Baszler who eventually went on to be in the final against Carrie Zane and she's also been the NXT Women's Champion as well which is um, to say that she was, did this last year and she's come you know in full circle in a year to being on the Mae Young Classic to being the Women's Champion and quite an impressive one at that uh, is showcase of what the NXT product can do for a career. Um, she already had a career in uh, MMA of course but they had to work on their microphone skills and now she has them uh, she can go as far as she likes really and I'd love to see a Ronda Rousey um, Shayna Baszler feud sometime in the near future. 
Um, so yeah, you, this is the marquee match. This is the one you've got two veterans, uh, two ring generals, two uh, women who have been around the circuit uh, for many, many years. Um, and uh, yeah, just Mercedes Martinez works two jobs as well as wrestles. Ma uh, Ash Ashley Rain is now studying to be a nurse as well as wrestling as well. I think this is going to be her last hurrah. Um, and it's just a really good match to finish the show on the second week. So the crowd is fully behind Martinez, which I'm quite surprised. I'm surprised there wasn't a bit more of a split, but obviously Ashley Rain not being on WWE TV before uh, made that difficult for her. Um, and, you know, it was always going to be the feel-good thing for this one, however it went, whether it was going to be a nurse or a mum that provides by working two jobs and wrestling, you know what I mean? It's going to be uh, either way, people are going to enjoy this match and the eventual outcome. Uh, feeling out process, like I say, two veterans, you you know, they work in the ring. Um, lots of reverses, um, and lots of reversals. You've got an impact driver into a brain buster, which looked quite um, interesting from uh, Martinez. Uh, and that was a, uh, a reversal of a move that Rain was trying to do as well. So you've got reversals in there. That leads to the first near fall, high and tight on the neck, it looked quite nasty. Um, so you've got Ashley Rain then going for a Tornado DDT, which is then countered into a vertical stalling uh, suplex, which is, again, quite impressive. Sorry, my dog's just dragged something in from outside that probably she shouldn't have, so I'll get this quick. Um, so Martinez is still on top. Rain does come back every so often, but Martinez controls the ring like a true ring general on this one. Lots of near falls, you've got a guillotine uh, drop into a near fall as well. And then an enziguri, uh, knee to a fisherman's buster by Martinez for the pin. And your winner via pinfall was Mercedes Martinez going on to the second round of the May Young Classic in 2018. So again, great show. Uh, not quite as good again. Yeah, yeah. So she seems to have dropped whatever it was that she was dragging in. Um, working with dogs around you. What can you do, eh? So in conclusion, another great show. Uh, the second week in of the May Young Classic. It's already better than last year's. A couple of weaker matches this week, if I'm honest. But they were still all very good. They told good stories. Uh, based on what I saw last week. And I enjoyed every single match. This week there was a couple of matches that I wasn't really paying attention to and that was quite bad. Um, but that being said, these ladies can only go on to better things in the second round as we start putting, putting the second round matches together. Uh, one match in particular that I'm really looking forward to in the second match is Mercedes Martinez versus uh, Maiko Satamora who I had high praise for last week, if you watched that video, which I will put a link to at the end of the video. Um, yeah, so they're going to be going against each other in the second round, and that is going to be epic. Um, so, yeah, another, like I say, another great show, um, especially the last match. You've got two ring veterans, you've got the crowd behind them, and it does make a lot of difference when the crowd does get involved with these things. And even in WWE, if the crowd's not involved, the wrestling does seem flat. And it, it's a shame. But yeah, moving on to next week, I'm really looking forward to what the next set of ladies can bring to the to the table and who's going to go into the second round of the May Young Classic for 2018. And that brings us to the end of the video for the second week for the May Young Classic. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well as sharing us with your friends and joining us next time here on Cheap Shot Entertainment. I've been Luke and I will see you next time. Goodbye.